All right. Um, welcome to this lesson. Today we are going to be going over greatest common factors and least common multiples. Now, for our first problem, we are going to do the problems 2,880 and 2,400. We're going to be doing using the slide method to solve the greatest common factor and least common multiple. And it is a simple and effective way to get both out of one solution. So as you will notice, both of these numbers are divisible by 10. So if we pull a 10 out, which we just did, we are going to get 288 for the 2,880. And that's because you can basically just cross off the zero at the end to get the number. And then we will get 240 for 2,400. Now, when you look at 288 and when you look at 240, you will notice also that a 2 can be pulled out from these two because they're both in, in an even number. So when we pull out the 2, we will be given 144 from the 288. And we will be given um, a 120 from the 240. Now, when you look at the 144 and the 120, you will notice that each of these is divisible by an even bigger number, a 12. So we are going to take out a 12. We could also take out another 2. It would just lengthen our process and put us up more steps. So we'll take out a 12, and when you take out 12 from 144, you get 12. And when you divide um, 120 by 12, you also get 10. So now that we have smaller numbers, we know that a 2 will go into each of these as well, because they're both even. And when you divide 12 by 2, you will get 6. And when you divide 10 by 2, you will be given 5. So now taking the, all these numbers, we're going to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple. So how we're going to go and find the greatest common factor is actually a pretty simple way. Um, we're going to take the whole left-hand column, and we're going to take the 10, the 2, the 12, and the other 2. And we are going to multiply all of these together. So... You're going to take 10 times 2 times 12 and then times another 2. Um, this slide method is pretty easy and it lays it out directly for you. So when you multiply all of these together, you will be given 480. So once we get 480, we know that the greatest common factor um, for 2,880 and 2,400 is 480. Now we're going to find the least common multiple, and by finding these, we're going to do a boot shape. So we're going to do all of the ones we just did, and we're going to add the bottom two numbers, the 6 and the 5. So for the least common multiple, we're going to do 10 times 2 times 12 times 2 and then you're going to add times 6 and times 5. So you're basically doing the greatest common factor. You just have two more numbers thrown in there. So when we get this answer, we're going to get 14,000. Right, so for the second problem, we're going to do the least common multiple and the greatest common factor of 144 and 2,240. Now, as you notice, 144 is a lot smaller than 2,240, so let's see how this will work out. Now, we're going to do the same process as the last, so we're pulling out a 2, and that will give us 72, and it will also give us 1,120. And we're going to go through the exact same steps as the previous problem, so we're going to keep going, and we're going to pull out another 2 from each of these numbers because you do know that 72 and 1,120 are both divisible by 2. So when we divide 72 divided by 2, we get 36. And when we do 1,120 divided by 2, we get 560. So now we are given these two problems, and we know that each of them is divisible by 4. So we can take out a little bit of a larger number and save us a step. 
So we get 9 for the first column, and then we get 140. Now, when you look at these two numbers, you notice that 9 can't go any farther, and 140 can't go any further either. So um, we're going to leave it at those two, and um, we're going to find the greatest common factor and the least common multiple, because you know 140 cannot be broken down anymore. And 9 can't be broken down anymore either with the same numbers as 140. So we're going to find the greatest common factor by taking the entire left side column. We're going to do 2 times 2 times 4, and this will give us 16. And then using that simple um, boot shaped again, we're going to find the least common multiple. Now, the least common multiple is going to be a lot bigger than the greatest common factor in this case because we have 140 left still on the bottom. So we're going to circle it like we're doing the boot, and we're going to do 2 times 2 times 4, and then times 9, and then times 140. Now this problem is a little bit longer, and will always be a little longer than the greatest common factor. So once we multiply all of these out, we will be given the number 20,160. Now, as you notice, that is extremely larger than 16, but it makes sense because um, we are stuck with 140 left at the end, and if you see, look at the two numbers. 144 is way smaller than 2,240. Okay, so to begin the last problem of today's lesson, we are going to be finding the greatest common factor and least common multiple of 18 and 30. Now, these two numbers are significantly smaller than the last couple problems that we have been doing. So, if you'll notice, we may only have to do a couple, if not one, step. So, the first thing we are going to do is pull out a 6. Now, if you notice, six, um, 18 divided by 6 it will give you a 3, and 30 divided by 6 will give you a 5. So, when we're left with these problems, you realize that 3 and 5 cannot be broken down any further, because they are both prime numbers and they are both the smallest um, that they can get to. So we're going to leave it at that and we're going to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple. Now when you find the greatest common factor, don't be mistaken, the greatest common factor is just 6. You don't have to do anything more. It's only the left side column and in this case it's only one number, so it's 6. Now the least common multiple, you're still going to do the boot shape, so you're going to take the 6 times the 3, and times the 5, just as we have been doing in the last two exercises. So take 6 times 3 times 5. Now when you multiply all these together, you'll end up with 90, and 90 will be your least common multiple for this problem. Thank you all for joining us.